Welcome to the channel Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Now, we're going to talk about why all great men end up incarcerated. Every great man you know that you have ever dealt with, including Jesus, has been incarcerated. Why is that? That's because at some point in your life, God will snatch you up and sit you still and say, peace, be still. Be still, my son, and listen. A lot of times when I was going in and out of institutions, people was asking why. Why every time we turn around, you are incarcerated? Hmm. It's a question to be asked. That's a question I constantly ask myself. Then I had to look into myself. Why? Why is it? It was because I was chosen. See, God seen something in me. He said, you, got, you have a great ability. He put it in me. He put that ability in me. For me to see it. See, he said, you can go into them dismal crypts and speak to the hardest and the people with the hardest hearts, the murderers, killers, rapers, robbers, thieves. I've been in maximum security institutions with the worst of the worst. And one thing I understand, they listened. They took heed. Some of the things that I see it pierced through their hearts. Some of them even cried. See, when I first went into the institutions, I was somewhat afraid. of the unknown of what I didn't know. But once I got in there and I started knowing the truth and not the lies that everyone was talking about, guys being incarcerated and everything, I seen the truth because I was there. And what I seen was a bunch of men that I did a bunch of times. And wanted to know what was going on out there. So the guys that had been down 20 and 30 years. They came around and they talked to me. Because of the way I carried myself. And the intelligence that I had within myself. So I spoke with the hardest of the hardest. Sat down and talked to them. Well, what, what happened? Well, why this? And a lot of it was things that was put upon them by their family. Everyone that I talked to, and mostly every last one of us out here in this universe, the broken part of us started at home. When you came from a broken home and you became hurt, Remember, hurt people will hurt people. The only people that will hurt people is hurt people. Healed people seek to heal other people. See, if you are hurt, you are going to keep demonstrating that hurt towards everyone you come in contact with. Until you open up that crown chakra and is able to let go. Once you are able to let go, your mind can be reset on your present and your future. So you will no longer look back in the past. A lot of times people was telling me, you're living in the past. You're living in the past. You did that before. 
Well, you don't get no points in last game to carry on into the next game. See, the last game you played is over. The points you're scoring now in the present is for this game to win, for you to win this game. Stay focused. Know, you have to know the powers of this world. One of the biggest secrets in this world is the word. The word. The life and power of words. See, words, when you write them down, it is called spelling. Cast a spell on yourself. What you need to write down is the things that are in your heart and the things that you want to accomplish in this life. The love you want to spread. See, a lot of people took the spelling and used it for evil. And they made the world think that it's only for evil. No, it's for good too. That's why people write affirmations. Take your time every morning. Write down Everything you want in detail, detail it out. Write it out to God. I wake up in the morning. God, it's a beautiful day that I have been blessed with. Please give me the energy, the knowledge, and the wisdom to use it wisely and not foolishly. See, a lot of us are using our spiritual power, that kundalini power, for evil. Use it for the good of mankind, what it was meant for. Have faith in everything. God delivers to faith street. Belief is what man thinks perhaps is true. Faith is what man know is true. Fruition is man himself the truth. When man has reached the state of fruition, he is one with his creator and he lives in peace and harmony with his creator. His thinking, reasoning, willing, and understanding are all within the bonds of moderation with the creator because they are creating greatness together. When you let the creator guide your life and live through you, victory is sure. Victory is sure. Victory is sure. You see, words have power. When you use them in threes, the three, the six, the nine, pay attention. Nikola Tesla, pay attention to the greats. The greatest men that ever done it. Study the greats. Listen to what makes you rise to your highest state of consciousness. Remember, what you put in your body is what you cultivating in your mind to grow. Wake up every morning listening to something positive. Put positive thoughts in your mind. Trust me, the mind is trained to protect you from everything against the things that you don't want and the things that you want. When you set your mind on the things you want, 
Your mind is designed to take you there because it will only look for what you want. Condition your mind and have a mind set. When you grab the remote control to watch something on the TV, you set that TV on a certain channel. Remotely use your thinking, reasoning, willing, and your understanding to set your life aright. To set yourself on the right channel at the right hour at the right time so you can have the right movement to get the right results that you want. It's easy. The easiest things in life are the hardest things for a person to do because they are so easy. Take your time to tighten up the little things in your life. And the big things, you won't have big things because it won't get big. You will never let a bad tree grow because you are uprooted when you see this is not what I want. So when dealing with people and you meet people and you see this is not what I want, True enough, you're a good person. You have love in your heart. But this is not what I want. Because there is no motivation here for me. No growth and development. When you encounter people like that, it is very, very important for you to exit stage left. Because they are fake fucking with you. And the spirit acts in a certain way when it finds that people are fake fucking with them. Because the spirit of a benevolent man, woman, or child looks for the truth. The worst thing you can do to a spiritual being is lie to him. That's the worst thing you can do. The biggest sin of all and the greatest sin of all is lying. Everyone has become professional liars. Your whole justice system is set up for professional liars, lawyers, bar, all of that. You have to pass a bar exam. That means meet me at the bar afterwards and let's talk about how we're going to fuck over and screw everybody. And our mission is to prosecute everybody. We ain't looking for justice. It's just us doing this shit. One thing I've always asked myself, God said, thou shall not judge one another. Hmm. In the book, people say, everyone say, we should not judge one another. I want to know why the fuck we got judges then. The fuck is they doing? And are they judging you properly? Fuck no. They doing the shit with a malicious intent for money and all type of shit. Government. Who got the right to tell somebody what God, this earth, who owns earth? First of all, who owns this motherfucker? I want to know who telling these goddamn stories that all you people out there choose to fucking believe. 
And how many people can fucking believe in their damn self? Upright, independent, and fearless and say enough of this fucking bullshit. I'm not finna be controlled by a motherfucker. These bitches controlled me when I was locked up. The first thing they did when I was incarcerated was told me to strip butt naked and give Wayne County sheriffs back their clothes. Stand six feet away from the person in front of you. Don't talk. Move when I say move. And lock the fuck down when I say lock down. Now I spent time. I spent time going through this bullshit. That they call incarceration. Then you let me out. And tell me within my community to stand six feet away from a person. Do not talk to them. Cover your mouth up. Move when I say move and lock the fuck down when I say lock down. Well, kiss my ass sideways while I'm shitting. Because I'd be damned if I'm going to do that shit out here. I did it in there. And if y'all cannot see the control that they trying to take over y'all. I'm telling you some shit that I live through. I live through this fucking shit. Now I'm going to come out here and y'all going to put 19 more motherfucking culverts on me. Try to give me a shot of some shit that I got to fight off. So you can... Use me as a motherfucking guinea pig. I'll be damned if I'm going to keep going through this bullshit. See, I'm man enough to stand up within myself and say enough is enough. I'm going for me. I'm going for me. When I say I'm going for me, fuck everybody. Because you ain't going to fuck me. I'm unfuck -wittable. I do this shit real. Everything I do and every word that come out of my mouth and everything you see is raw, uncut, and straight from my heart. Do I give a damn what you think? No, because that's personal between you. So your opinion that you're trying to, uh, trying to come up with about what I'm saying, you keep that shit to yourself. It ain't got shit to do with me. That's just some personal shit you got to deal with because of the words that you heard come out of my motherfucking mouth. Now deal with that shit. Deal with it on whatever level you're on. If you're on a spiritual level and say he cuss too much or he do this, I don't give a fuck. Who the hell is you? I learned to live my life for the spirit that's in me, the spirit that's in you, and the spirit that's in this world. Fuck the money. Fuck the material shit, all that. This shit ain't nothing. I done bought a whole lot of shit. Gave all that shit away. That shit come and go. But you look at the face. Of every person you come in contact with. Your chances of seeing that person. At the time you looking at them. Is one in 400 trillion. Now you tell me that person you looking at. Don't have a gift. To give to you. Or to share with you. It's time for us to take Time out from all that bullshit. See the gifts that we have in one another. Be willing to share your gifts with each and every last individual that you come in contact with. 
And if you cannot see any gifts of the understanding of knowledge, wisdom, which way to go in life, how to build, then that's a ship you should not get on. Remember, partnerships, business ships, and relationships were meant to leave the dock. If that shit is anchored and will not leave that dock, you know you're going nowhere. Get on a ship that's moving. When you get on that ship that's moving forward, trust me, y'all are going to move to greatness. Move your ship forward in peace, harmony, and love. If you are around people and y'all are not building, you are just plain and not accomplishing anything, abandon ship. I don't have time to play games with grown folks unless we play Monopoly. And we trying to monopolize on some shit and get some shit going. And the only thing I'm trying to monopolize on is unconditional love to each and every last one of us. I live in love. I don't look at no one person as greater than no other. Your money don't make you no bigger than the, than the person that's broke. You could be a multimillionaire and have a fucked up heart. And you can be a bum on the street and have a heart of gold. That's the difference in life. Life has different values. You think that a homeless person on the street don't have value in their life? They are one in 400 trillion too. See, that homeless person may be the one that feeds you 20 years from now. Five years from now. Life is like an elevator. It goes up and down. People get on at different floors. People get off at different floors. Some go all the way to the top. Some go to the bottom. Some go to the bottom and then they go back to the top. Some start at the top and then they end up on the bottom. Pay attention. That's why they say, live in peace and harmony. Treat everyone the way you want to be treated. Learn to love and not demand love in return. Give of the hurt freely and abundantly as you would have it received to you freely and abundantly. See, God gave us an abundance of everything but we must use it abundantly. See, we must use it amongst each other and show each other the same thing that he shows us. When you interact with your universal author, governor, creator, almighty, internal, and incomprehensible, and you get your instructions from your creator, how do you go out in the world and deal with individuals? What did your master teach you? What type of mind are you trying to master? See, a master mind can trace themselves back to the source from which they come. Thus, they know. When you start mastering your mind, you go with mind into that land of fleshless things. When you in that land of fleshless things, you see yourself more plainly. You see who you truly are because you're walking in that light. You are that light. You are that shining light for everyone to see who you truly want to be. Now, how many of people out there said, forget everybody and let me demonstrate who I want to be. Let me demonstrate who I am. I am not going to let y'all keep trying to validate who I am and say he's this and say he's that. No, I'm going to correct you right then and there. Well, you got me fucked up. 
Now, that's where you got me fucked up at. If you think you're going to do something, and I'm not going to tell you, well, wait a minute, hold on. You said this a minute ago. Now, right now, you fake fucking with me. Now, I'm not going to let you continue to come around me and play these games. Now, you said you was going to do this, this, that, and the other and everything, but you tried to spin me like a top. But you can spin your ass around and exit stage left the fuck out of this door. Because I don't deal with people that's negative or people that cannot stand up and own up to the truth that was in them. And if I don't see no truth in you, then you full of lies and you full of bullshit. Stay the fuck away from me. It's just that simple. And I tell people that every day. If you can't be real with me, stay the fuck away from me. Because all my, all my people are loyal. The people I deal with, they loyal. Oh, yeah, we loyal. Loyalty brings royalty. See, when you stand on loyalty, you can stand for royalty. See, and when you royal and you stand on your word, you can do shit for whatever you heard. Upright, independent, and fearless. Remember, when your spirit is leading your life. Victory is sure. Stay into your spirit. Get out of the flesh. Strip your mind of flesh and bones and live for the spiritual content that God put into you. Live for the God in you, not the flesh that God has given to you. Because you don't know what God gave you that flesh. See, stop worshiping a monster that has no ear to hear, no eye to see, no heart to sympathize, and no power to save. That saving power God put within you. See, why? Did God send Jesus to the earth to save the Israelites from the iron hand oppression of the pale skinned nation of Europe, who was governed a portion of Palestine at that time? See, during your times and tribulations, God will always send a prophet to lead you to the promised land. Watch and pay attention to the prophet that's in your family. And follow them upright, independent, and fearless. I come to y'all in love. I leave y'all in peace. I'm out.